How's it going everybody? Star Wars Talks here. So we just got the first teaser trailer for the Mandalorian and Grogu movie and I'm looking all over the place on the internet for it and it seems Disney has kind of banned the trailer from having any exposure online. Um, I found this through a, a link. I will not disclose where I found it but I just want to get into it and uh, I'm going to react to it and show you guys you know my thoughts and stuff and share that with you guys. So let's get right into it. Sorry for the quality ahead of time. You are a clan of two. You are as its father. This youngling is my apprentice. I'm a bounty hunter by trade. Now that he's with me, I'll be more selective in my assignments. I'm so excited. Let's go, that's sick. <laughs> Dude, his face. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that's sick. May 2026, so not super far away, luckily, um, but they've got time to make a really good movie for us here. But yeah, I'm not really sure why they're not wanting this trailer to be online. It looks like they just want the people at D23 that got to experience it there um, get to see it. But again, this stuff is going to get leaked all over the place. Um, there's just no way for them to contain it completely online. So this was pretty easy to find. This looks pretty cool, in my opinion. I'm, I'm really excited for this. I'm really hoping that they can really like hone in the old school Mandalorian um, season one, season two. Just the feeling that you know, I was able to get from those two seasons were just, it was incredible. It was unmatched. It was the only thing I felt, you know, really Star Wars uh, for a really long time. So this made me really fall in love with Star Wars again. And I, it was such a cool, different take on it. And uh, the trailer is just so cool. It's so cool to see them together again and, you know, see Zeb there. And the camera angles, that's something I noticed too. Really cool camera angles, uh, especially when the little droid is just driving across. Um, I think it's coming up. Yeah, right here. And um, he's just driving around and you get to see from his angle like what's going on. It's really cool. I also thought this was a very, very well done shot. Um, regardless if you think the CGI looks good or bad, I think this is a really, really awesome shot. Um, and we haven't seen something like that in a really long time either. So there we have it. I mean, The Mandalorian and Grogu, uh, 2026, a couple years away, but, you know, not too far. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. One thing I do want to say about this movie is that it has to be done well. They really have to do a good job on this because if they don't, a lot of people are going to be upset about it. And I'm really wondering what the movie could be about here. I'm assuming they're just going on, you know, a couple quests, bounties, because um, he said he's going to be pretty selective with his bounties so he could, you know, be more of a father figure uh, to Grogu, obviously, uh, which I love. And I think he's going to be really selective with his quests and they're going to be able to work together because obviously we know Grogu has... The force and some abilities and i'm just excited to see them build on that a little bit um, i'm not sure if they said when this takes place but obviously it seems like it's pretty soon after season three of the mandalorian and yeah i just i just always love the mandalorian and i hope that we get even you know more cool characters and stuff and, and building on these characters that you know are already kind of cemented into star wars history like genuinely i think most people love mandalorian they love grogu um they just love a lot of these characters. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this. And I think if they really mess this up, like they have to revise and think, you know, what direction do they need to go in? Because you just can't afford to, you know, mess something like this up. I can't imagine how many people have Grogu things at their house and Mandalorian toys and stuff like that. So they really just need to do something good here. And I think they will. I, I genuinely think they will. Uh, I'm assuming John Favreau and Dave Filoni are working together here on this. And I'm just genuinely so excited. I'm, I, I can't even... I can't even explain how excited I am to just get away from the Acolyte and things like that and just look forward to things like this and Skeleton Crew. And I wanna know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you guys looking forward to this as well? Let me know. May the force be with you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. See ya.